All right, guys, welcome back to the channel, Hill Creek Outdoors. Got another video today. It's going to be about the 2022 Polaris Ranger XB1000 Crew Cab Edition. Um, this is the video we've been wanting to get out to you guys uh, for quite some time, so we had the time to do it. Turn the heat on in here in the gr garage, pulled the Ranger in, and we're going to go ahead and, and shoot it for you guys, get you some good information. But this is something that you can do straight from the factory. Um, if you purchase it, um, aftermarket, as long as you have the tool, you can do this as well. This is something that doesn't cost any money. Um, and it also gives you some good value if you're looking for more ground clearance, or maybe you just want to adjust the, the suspension on your Ranger to make it more firm or more soft. So what we're going to do is we're going to adjust the suspension on a Polaris Ranger. There's four, you have to do it on each, um, corner. So the front and the rear, both, both sides. So we'll go ahead and do that. The tool you're going to be needing is this right here. This comes with the Polaris Ranger. When you purchase it, it's usually in with the owner's manual. comes with a little toolkit. So make sure you have this. Some of you might look at it and go, what the heck is this? Well, I'm going to show you what it is today. Um, so you can actually increase your ground clearance by doing this. And we'll get those numbers. In the past, we've already increased it to the most um, it's capable of doing. Just because we wanted... Number one, we wanted the ground clearance, but at the same time, we wanted it to ride a little more stiff and more firm. So, but we're going to go ahead and lower it, get the numbers, lower it down, adjust the suspension, and we've got our handy dandy tape measure here. So, we will get you guys some numbers um, of kind of what you're going to look at. So, thank you again for coming back to the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and let's get into this. This is the front, but this is what you're going to be adjusting. See, you're going to want to bring it back down to this, these different notches right here. It's at the current, it's at the highest. Um, but before we go ahead and do the rear, I want to get a quick number of the front. That way you guys know exactly where we're at in the front as well. So let me throw this camera down here and I'll get a quick number of the front. We're going to go right here. This is 13, about 13 inches so we'll, we'll call it 13 inches because it's right at 13. so we're 13 inches in the front we're going to go ahead and do the rear first um so i'm going to go ahead once again i said we currently have it at its highest point so right here is where you adjust the suspension and i'll bring you guys in closer to show you that but what i want to do is take a quick measurement it's going to be down here on the slowest part of the receiver hitch for the rear and we'll get a quick measurement there. And it is at currently at 14 inches, okay? 14 inches to the lowest part of the receiver hitch. Um, let me bring in here and show you these. The rears are the most difficult um, just because of the amount of weight they have and they're just a little bit more stiff. So let's bring you in, show you exactly what we're gonna be changing here. Go ahead and raise this up. Just to get the, uh, all the weight off the suspension. It'll make it, you can't do it without that. So get all the weight off the suspension. All right, so there, all the weights off the suspension. And we're gonna go ahead and pull you guys in close and show you what we're gonna do. You got it jacked up. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take this tool. It's got little teeth right here. You're gonna put this little tooth on like, we well, gotta find a hole. If I can find one here. There's one. And you can just muster it like that. Or if you're smart, you can get something to put on this to help pry it. And then you're just gonna there's one, and you're just gonna go all the way down. That, keep going until you're all the way to the lowest it can go. And like I said, these ones are stiff. There's another one. That's two. Two notches. Oh. 
three. We got one more to go. And there you go. That's all the way down to the lowest setting, as you can see. We're gonna go ahead and do the other rear. All right, before I do the other rear, I just wanna kinda of give you the difference. You can definitely tell on the right here how much more compressed the spring is than this side. There's the lowest setting. And then if you look at this side, it's currently on the highest setting, and we're gonna get it back down to here for the lowest setting. So we'll clean that side up real quick, do the last rear, and then we'll show you how to do the front. Just for uh, curiosity's sake, now we got the rear all taken care of. Let's see what we got now in the front. It shouldn't have changed any, and it did not. We still got 13, so. Let's change the fronts, and then we'll uh, check the overall around the whole thing. Got it jacked up. Let's get it in nice close here so you guys can see the methodology a little bit better. Is that a word? I don't know. Who cares? All right, so what we're going to do, as you can see, these little notches right here, right? These are what you're going to be hooking this little tool on. You'd be going this way if you're raising it. Obviously, we're going to be going counterclockwise because we're lowering it. So now what we'll do is we will get a little leverage. There's one. See if we can get it without. There's two. Three. And we should have one more. See, the fronts, they're not nearly as bad. There's four. Like I said, they're not nearly as bad as the rear. To do, these are a lot easier. So there you go. This will show you how much easier the fronts are. Don't even really need leverage. You just kind of... Two. Three. Four. There it is. See how much easier that was? Now, I tell you what, let's get some more measurements, lower it down, show you what the difference in the clearance was now that we got all the suspension adjusted. Now, it should be at its softest and lowest clearance and softest ride. So, we've been riding around probably for about, I don't know, 18 months in the most firm and the most highest elevated it can be. So, we're going to take it for a ride and see what we got. Let's do it. All right, so we wanted to take it for a ride first, just so everything can kind of settle out, that we get perfect numbers. Um, as you can see, it does sit quite a bit lower. It's not what we're used to. Um, still has a really good appearance. Still really good uh, clearance. So let's, let's take some numbers here, and we'll get exactly what the difference was. Remember, it was 14 in the rear and 13 in the front. So let's go ahead. Moment of truth. We are now at 13 and a quarter, 13 and a quarter. So it was at 14 inches, now it's at 13 and a quarter, so almost an inch difference here. Almost an inch difference in the back. Um, let's go check the front. So remember that the front was 13, now to the lowest. Oh shoot, let's see if we can get it in here. We're at 12 and a quarter, guys. 12 and a quarter. So it's about the same, about an inch different. Inch in the back, inch in the front. All right, so we finally finished it up. This is going to be what stock is when you get it from the dealership, brand new. 
More than likely, it's going to be like this when you purchase after um, as a used vehicle as well. But this is at its softest setting and its lowest clearance. So let's do a quick review. Um, our Polaris Ranger, we increased to the firmest and the most highest clearance about 18 months ago and been riding around in that fashion. We showed you guys how to adjust it today. There's four um, adjust points on each suspension, all four corners of the vehicle. Um, so you can kind of adjust it to what you want. In the front, at the stock setting, right, it came in at 12 inches and a quarter, 12 and a quarter inches. In the rear, it was 13 and a quarter inches. When you increase that to its most firm and highest clearance, you are then at 13 inches in the front and 14 inches in the rear, okay? And those measurements aren't exactly precise, but those are your rough estimates. So you can gain about three-fourths of an inch, almost an inch in clearance, um, just by increasing the suspension and the firmness of them. So we're going to keep this at this softest setting for a while and just ride around and see how it, how it feels and see if we like it. We might adjust it back. We, we, we might not. I don't know yet. So we'll see. But my goal is I hope you guys learned something of value. Hey, this doesn't cost any money. So if you're not one of those types of people that want to go out there and spend all the money to jack things up or, or do certain things, this is one thing that you can do. All you have to have is a tool and it comes with it. So take advantage of it. So I hope you guys learned something. That's the first and foremost. Um, I appreciate you guys coming back to the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time here on Hill Creek Outdoors, we'll see you.